All right, finally, they did it, guys. After so long, after suffering under the foot of these unbeatable decks, finally, we get a new ban list, and I'm sure it's going to be a big one. It was dropped a little while ago, so let me just uh, uh, bring up the official thing. Um, oh, goes into effect April 1st. Oh, God, can't wait for that. Like, can't wait for a fresh new format that isn't just over-the-top Zodiacs or any other bullshit that's been running around lately. So, let's see here. Starting off with the new banned cards. Uh, we have the Tyrant Neptune, very popular in a FTK um, that, weirdly, we're not seeing here in the TCG. Very strange we would ban a FTK card here in the TCG but without even the FTK being a thing, but Konami really doesn't like FTKs, and yeah, they are pretty cancerous, so I get it. I get where you're going with this. Also banned. Oh, shit. They really did it. They went after Zodiacs. They went after them hard. It's like they've looked at these last couple of YCSs, heard all our screams at locals when we see this stupid 20-minute combo go off that ends with the Dryden ready to blow everything up because Zodiac Dryden is gone. Dead. Get rid of them now, people. Throw them out the window, whatever it takes. That card is gone, as well as Zodiac Barrage. Completely 100% agree. As many of you know, by seeing things here in the TCG, Zodiac Barrage is a super powerful, strong card that probably should never have been made. I mean, if Sky Iris isn't allowed to pop itself to search its targets, neither should Zodiac Barrage. And we here in the TCG will never have to deal with it again. Moving on to Limited, we have Witch of the Black Forest, formerly banned. Honestly, great. Like, who really cares about Sangan or Witch of the Black Forest? Ooh, it lets you get stuff from hand with good effects and stuff. Well, technically, yes, but come on, people. Like, you're going to give up your normal summon for this? Or if you're in a Pendulum deck, you're going to give up a crucial spot that you could use for a better combo enabler than just add something with 1500 or less defense? Honestly, I couldn't give a crap about this card, and neither will anyone here in the TCG, where this ban list is totally taking effect because it's responsible of Konami to keep its game in check. Um, also limited, Zodiac Rat Pier. Oh my god, they really hit this thing hard. I mean, Rat is such a bullshit card. I mean, they get it out first turn it just summons more of it so more crazy combos i mean come on kunami how could you let it even go this long like two months we're already sick of it i mean this is totally why we're getting a ban list in april right guys um, then we have Blackwing go through the Vague Shadow. Um, interesting that just a day after we got that, um, ruling thing over in the OCG about Lynx, that they instantly limit Gofu. Gofu is, would be really overpowered in Link format. But funny, we don't get Link format till July. You'd think this wasn't actually our ban list or something. Um, also limited, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Uh, totally agree. Um, Kaijus have, they're such a staple in the game, and board wipes are such a big thing in this format, or was, because Zodiacs are totally dying here in the TCG, right guys? Um, but nah, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, this is a really overpowered card, and it's a searcher, like, putting it at one I think is very fair. And also, oh my god, he's back. They finally brought him back. Elemental Hero Stratos and straight to two. Oh, that's so freaking awesome. I mean, again, heroes aren't really doing anything right now. Or maybe they will. Because remember, Zodiacs die April 1st. Um, so Stratos is now at two, which is great because, yeah, you can use his effect multiple times per turn. Yeah, he's got two effects. Who cares? Like, the thing is, the normal summon, the special summon, he doesn't really sync with a lot of the XE strategies because a lot of it is you get Shadow Mist out from the deck and then get the Bubble Man and go off from there. He's a great card, but honestly, he never needed to be banned in the first place. I mean, why would they ban him here in the TCG? That, I mean, ban lists in the TCG, right? I mean, like, that was the one time they never made sense. That was the one time we were never questioning a ban list decision. Um, Armageddon Knight is at two. I don't know how I fully agree with that. As I feel like just being able to dump a dark monster in the grave is very powerful and will continue to be very powerful. Um, but we'll see what happens. I mean, again, we here in the TC remember April 1st. Um, Fairy Tale Snow, kind of interesting, but again, with all the lawn mowing decks going around here, whether it's Infernroids or 
Actually, that's kind of it for now. But then you have like the Light Sworn support that'll come out in Code of the Duelist and all that stuff. It is better for this card to get a little bit hit as it's a very powerful, very easy to use card. Goyo Guardian to two. Who cares? Ignister to two. Um, interesting. One to two. Um, uh, he isn't really doing anything right now. I'm not entire. Maybe it's preemptive. Um, but I don't quite get the need to hit Ignister, but so be it. Brio, he's not even free yet in the TCG. It's not like we're dragging our feet on things that need to happen here. Um, but yeah, no, still a powerful card and always will be. Tenki to two, honestly, I would have put Tenki to one as, sort of like with my Sky Iris logic, if Rhoda, the warrior support, has to be at one, so does this card. Now, to a certain extent, Tenki is weaker as you can MST it before it gets you your search. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, it is such a play combo enabler. I mean, again, Zodiacs are totally dying and we'll never have to deal with them at regionals again. Um, brain control to two. Um, stealing opponent's monsters isn't a huge thing right now. We're seeing it in some Zodiac mirror matches. Uh, but again, Brain Control also got an errata. Granted, it's really crappy under the errata. But I'm assuming we're getting all the erratas in Duelist Saga. So again, having this ban was play April 1st makes total sense for the TCG. And then, new to three, Artifact Moral Tech. I'm, uh... I don't know how things are working in Japan, so maybe that's why artifacts can kind of be freed. I don't know if freeing Moral Tack here in the TCG is a particularly good idea, as the artifact engine is really strong right now in the game, and Moral Tack only gives you more teeth with that engine. But who knows? We'll see what happens starting April 1st here in the TCG. Um, Magician of Faith, nobody cares. DD Lamia, um, after how we got butt hurt with Konami releasing in all their wiseness, DDD's so late in the game. Um, I think they need all the help they can get. And honestly, again, we'll need a new top tier deck once Zodiac die April 1st! So, a DDD, uh, DDDs could easily come back and easily regain their top tier status, and that would be fun. Like, it's a fun deck. So, you know, I would love to see Konami promote something really cool for a change. So, that was our ban list, people. And just so I can reread this, um, uh, making, because I jumped for joy when I saw this, I totally didn't check to see if the, which format this is for, or if this was actually just a silly joke video. Um, let's see, April 1st, Limit Regulations. OCG. This is for the OCG. So, we here in the TCG, um, we still get Triple Barrage, we still get Overly Powered Riding Boards, and we still get the, the freaking Rat. <laughs> I'm going to go kill myself now. And if I don't, um, see you guys next time.